Hey guys, it's Dave from Do It Then Outdoors. Uh, we just got a shipment in of some new decoys. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and unbox them. They are a new type of decoy from Primos. Uh, it's a new technology that they figured out how to laminate some canvas-like material onto foam. So we're gonna take a look at them. This is the first time we're unboxing them. Yeah, I'm eager to see this thing. I'm thinking it's gonna look a lot like a PhD hen they had a couple years ago. So far, looks like really nice image quality. Uh, laminated on top of this foam. It's a little stiff, it's kind of cold. They've been in Matt's car for a little bit. Um, but overall, looks pretty rugged. Pretty happy with the, the image quality on it. Does look like a real hen. It's got a plastic hard head on it that looks pretty rugged. So, and Matt's got the uh, Jake over there. They pop out pretty decently. It seems like they come back to shape without, without like the. Yeah. Well, maybe. I think they're a little cold. Yeah. A couple years ago, Primos had this pocket hen decoy they call a PhD hen, and you blow it up, it's, and it has this material on it. And these remind me a lot of that material, that kind of like they say that photo form. I really, I really like that. They're just a little stiff out of the box. They seem to want to go back to their original shape in the box, but. I bet you with having some out of, out of the box for some time to give them uh, some time to get back to their original shape, they might come around. The other thing that they advertise is that you can position them. There's a cone on the inside that you put the stake into and there's a zipper on the bottom and you can adjust the zipper to do an alert hen or a feeding hen or a submissive hen. So overall they seem pretty nice at this point. Um, it does seem like they don't want to forget their packaging shape. Um, but we'll I saw you see could probably get around with a, uh, if you have a, uh, what I've done in the hair past dryer. is use a hair dryer. Yeah. Uh, to warm up the foam yeah. and stuff. Or put them in to... hot water, but I, think I probably would, would put this in hot yeah. water. Cause Leave them in the sun for a little bit maybe, yeah. get them to warm up I in the sun. I think we'll see after how it goes because typically before the hunt, I leave my pack in my truck where it's cold warm overnight. Up. Yeah, warm it up in the truck so and get going in the morning. So think about warming these up, I guess, if the form does stay as an issue. The general, the general concept of like being lightweight, I mean, this thing weighs almost nothing. I think in the box it says they weigh 13 ounces, which I think from modern day decoys where they're going more of the hard bodies and they weigh a couple pounds, can't really pack them very well. This has potential. We just have to see if we can figure out how to get around the shape issue. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but I think the image quality seems pretty decent on here. I like it's it. Really good. Yeah. And the fact that they put a nice hard head on it and everything to, to try to keep it uh, looking more realistic is nice. On the Jake, is there a beard on there or what? A little sure, beard, beard, but that's one of the most realistic heads I think I've ever seen on a decoy. Yeah, I'm not sure. Through the eyes and even to the yeah. ear behind it. So, let me check that thing out. See. Yeah, I think you're right. I think if we just yeah, you just oh, actually, let's look here. It's it's actually got wire oh, in the tail. It's wire in the tail, so oh, you can crazy. actually bend that tail out and shape it. So I like that. And like yeah, I believe you're nice. right. I believe the rest of it's gonna come up, come out with the sun for mm -hmm. sure. We'll see. I hope so. They're just like the ones you get with like the full decoys, right? They come boxed up. They, right. they don't hold their shape. You got to sit them out in your backyard, let them warm up. Get yeah. on them. The good thing is, is I feel like we're not seeing that many people anymore make uh, really portable decoys that you can fold up. I feel like we're becoming duck hunters in the turkey world, oh, where, where they're gonna want us to have. You know, a bag this big full of decoys that you yeah. can't fold up. Right. I, I love this PhD decoy. I wish they, I wish they made it. You know, because it, you know, it, it blows up and I can let the air out of it and fold it up. So right. and if you're I'm excited about these. You're running and gunning. You want to keep the weight and everything down. You don't right. want to be getting caught on briars because you're carrying uh, decoys everywhere. I mean, these have a lot of potential. I'm really excited about this. See, it's already starting to take shape. I carried a different foldable decoy, and I think uh, you know this, that this holds its shape better. This will actually be better this year for us. If I can only figure out now how to get my wife to let me buy one of these. You don't tell her. Yeah, right. You just have it shipped here, right. and then come and get it. Yeah. That's not a bad idea, yeah. have it shipped to Dan, so. Yeah. And they're really, um, uh, these were on sale through Midway, right? We did get these at Midway, they were, yeah. they were up. Yeah, I think they prices. retail for about, what, 89, but we found them on yeah. sale at Midway for like 59. You know, you're gonna have to pay for some shipping there. Uh, seems like they got a new one coming out in the next couple of weeks. I think it's the leading hen where this right. is like the, I don't know what they call this one. Uh, the, they just call this one the hen. The hen. And they, they say that it can be a 
a content hen, an upright hen, or a submissive hen, depending on where you put the stake position. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I feel do. like it's probably not going to be that much difference in the one that they're about to I mean, release uh, in this one. I mean, this looks good. Best they, best head I think I've seen on a decoy in a while. They you know? they claim the uh, image quality is better on the new ones, but I don't know. These I are think they're good. called like an HD image compared yeah. to what these yeah. are. But these are good enough, I think, and. Uh, We'll see how it goes this year. Yeah, hopefully we'll have y'all a video of a bunch of Toms yeah. trying to jump on top of this thing. I don't think they'd tear it up. We'll do a, we'll do a quick Instagram update when the weather warms up here in Connecticut and we can get them out in the sun and see how they maintain their shape. All right, guys. Uh, I'm Dave from Do It Then Outdoors. This is just a quick unboxing of some decoys. To my right here, we got Matt and Bishop. Until then, have a good day.